Today we are here to explore how expressions of art preserve life. Shockwaves of the Heart with your host, Catherine Shock. I do prophetic oil painting. God has gifted me with being a visionary and an encourager in the arts. So let's get plugged in and ride a shockwave today. I just wanted to talk a little bit to you about a piece called Under His Wings. Back in 2011, I ended up having a God idea and I wrote a poem about it because I have a love for artists and I also have a love for the arts. So this is how the poem goes. At 4 a.m. on April 4th, I met with God in prayer. One thing I asked was, how may I bless you today, God? Moments of quietness passed by as I began to draw four rectangle shapes with space between them, and then I saw. Three months of pondering and wondering about many things in the clouds, flying and seeing an eagle with outstretched wings. Each day I met with God in prayer. He heard my heart's deep cry for the arts and the artist. What is your plan? How and why? I connected with National Day of Prayer and their 2000 theme psalm 91 such a precious word to be heard lived and seen a vision of how this eagle could be expressed flying high it's bigger and includes four other artists more than just i who do i ask and who will join into this project and be able to see the, as I phoned, their names came one by one to me. The Lord showed specifics of sizes and shapes and meanings from above. Each canvas and then made perfect, complete fruit of love. I heard him calling artists from the north, south, east, and west, restoring precious lives and bringing out their very best. Proper connections with him, the creator and master and Lord of all, who is willing, available, and obedient to answer his call. Who will say yes and amen and do what is needed to be done, just like the artist working on Under His Wings. We had such great fun. Spirit of Truth creates humility holiness, unity, and beauty, the hub of his moving wheel. Artists who live and seek truth and take back and turn and build up God's kingdom for real. See and hear the new sound of the Spirit and the Father's heart. I wrote this poem and it included Karen Norheim, Nancy Cup, Fred Llewellyn, Judy Heron and Nick Powell who took the photograph of it. I just want to thank you so much for spending time with me today. Your life is very valuable to God and when your world is turned upside down inside out just remember you are his beloved. You are his beloved. Let God use his paintbrush to bring back the vibrancy of colors into your life. Shalom.